everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back. And in this video, I wanted to go through my big, heavy goodie bag from Texture on the Runway. Everyone who attended the event got a free bag of retail size products. So I wanted to go through them and really determine if we can use them for locks. Now, I must say that there are people on both sides of the spectrum, you know. There are people who would absolutely never recommend using products on locks. Some people are complete purists when it comes to the products you use in your locks, if you're using any products at all. And, you know, those people will say, you know, don't use any products, just use water, or maybe just use, like, the lightest oils, you know, never use conditioner, things like that. Those are some people here. And then there's other people who are on this side of the spectrum who will say, you know, I'll use whatever products I need to achieve my desired outcome, you know. I color my hair so I'm gonna use conditioner to keep my hair soft or nothing holds or retwists like edge control so I'm gonna use edge controls and things like that. So I wanna be clear that there's no strict rules at what you should do, it's about your preference and your desired outcome as long as you're all well informed. I'll have my take on that in depth in the description box below so definitely read that but for now I'm going to just say where I lie I lie somewhere in the middle where I do prefer to use lighter products but I definitely do use products I am not against conditioner I'm not against um, using gels in your hair to hold a retwist and I'm definitely for trying different products out I'm just my personal preference is that I use lightweight products and I wash my hair bi-weekly. Every two weeks I wash my hair. So, And I also do deep cleaning treatments on my hair periodically so I feel comfortable using heavier products sometimes. So consider how often you like to wash your hair and how often you like to do deep clean treatments on your hair when figuring out what products to use and what products to stay away from altogether. I'm not telling you what you should do. You know, use your own discernment. I'm gonna go through these products and let you know what I would use and what I wouldn't. Okay, so this first product is by Carol's Daughter, Pragaxi Nectar Curl Twisting Custard. For curls and coils, it adds moisture, enhances style definition, helps prevent frizz. Now I'm sure that a lot of people will be drawn to it with Fox because it says it helps produce frizz. It smells good enough. Now this is not a gel, this is a cream. I personally would not use this on my locks. And when it comes to white gels, I don't mind using white gels on my locks because white gels tend to dry clear or dry and visible. But when it comes to using lotions, it's very difficult to rub it in to the point where it's completely invisible on locks. Yes, I, I could definitely see this attracting a lot of dirt and buildup, so I would not use this on my locks. Now the next product is ORS Curls Unleashed, and this is a leave-in conditioning cream, extra rich hair softener, and moisturizer. Now, a lot of people with locks, they, you know, complain about their hair being hard and dry and they want them to soften their hair. So I can see them thinking of considering this, but I would absolutely recommend that you don't. Look at it. Look how thick it is. And this is a leave-in conditioner. This is not even a conditioner that you wash out. I would definitely advise against using a product like this. It's so stiff and so thick it's bound to cause product buildup. Next up is Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisture Whip Twisting Cream. Some people with locks like to use creams and pomades for their retwist. So I can see them being drawn to this, but again, just like the ORS, or it's not as thick as the ORS was, but it's pretty close. Maybe if you use, honestly, maybe if you use a little bit because it feels like it melts really well, just from sticking my finger in it. I feel like it melts really well. So maybe you can use this for a retwist, just a little bit. You wouldn't need a lot. I think I would actually give this a shot. I would actually give this a shot for my retwist. Just from feeling it and the way it melted away in my palms. Yeah. 
And again, this is Cream of Nature, Pure Honey, Moisture Whip, Twisting Cream. Now this is Miel's Pomegranate and Honey, Moisturizing and de Detangling Shampoo. A lot of us with loss, we deal with dry hair, so we want to have a shampoo that replenishes the moisture, not just strips out all the oils and things, because we want our hair to be moisturized. And this says it cleanses with rich lather and silky slip to pre-detangle thick curly type 4 hair. Type 4 hair. Now, um, with all this emphasis on detangling, I would not recommend it for people who are not locked yet. If you're a beginner with your locks, then I would not recommend that you want to use any products that emphasize detangling because we want our hair to tangle, we want our hair to mat, we want our hair to lock. So, um, if your hair is mature and detangling is not a concern, then I would use it. So, obviously I've had my locks for 8 years, I don't have any concerns about detangling, I will use this product. The conditioner, the matching conditioner from, from Miel. This is very thick. That would need to be diluted. I would use it, but I would dilute it first. Now, I'm not sure if this is intended to be a hair product, although we know that Rose water is a common product used on hair as daily mists and things. This is Reshma Rose Water Toner. Okay, so it's a toner. Revitalizing and refreshing. Rose water helps restore natural pH balance and moisture, which helps maintain young and fresh looking skin. It helps to alleviate skin irritation and aids the relief of sunburn symptoms with a cooling sensation. So this is not marketed towards hair, however, if I can put it on my skin, I should be able to put it on my hair, right? That's not necessarily true at all. <laughs> well, it's intended for your skin, so I'll use it on my skin primarily, but that was nice. Now we have the main choice, Heavenly Halo. Herbal hair tonic and soy milk deep hydration shampoo helps to support natural growth and retention. I personally am not super picky when it comes to the shampoos that I use. I mean, I don't like to use the you know the 99 cents one. As far as how thick and creamy shampoos are, I don't mind using a thick and creamy shampoo. A lot of times, the thicker ones are more hydrating, so I do I do like to use them. From time to time as opposed to always using those shampoos that always strip your hair so I would try this I will try this this is a, again this is the main choice herbal hair tonic and soy milk deep hydration shampoo now this is the matching conditioner with the main choice herbal hair tonic and soy milk I will be a little more reluctant to use this first of all it smells really good but um, a shampoo, a conditioner like this, as you can see how thick it is. See how thick that is? Something like this, I would need to pre-mix and dilute with water to help it run through my hair with more ease. Because something like this would absolutely cause product buildup. Especially, you know, most of us, most of us use shampoo then conditioner. So if you're using this last you're not really going to be clarifying it all out so I would have to dilute it okay now this is Cantu Shea Butter for natural hair style stay frizz free finisher so I, I guess this is like a hairspray pretty much that's what it sounds like a hairspray for hold and for reducing frizz personally I don't really have a need for my hair to be looking perfect you know every strand in place one that's just not my style and two where am i going that i need to have my hair super super perfect i don't really see it being very beneficial to people with locks honestly if it was a sheen spray that would be a different story so this i could tell right away this is gonna be way too thick and it's a leave-in this is cream of nature pure honey not a way leave-in detangler First of all, I must say the packaging is really cool. I like that it looks like a beverage, like a naked drink. That's what it reminds me of. People with locks, we don't need leave-in detanglers, so this is not necessary for us. Okay, here is K2 
Cantu Shea Butter for natural hair. Curl Stretcher Cream Rinse. Minimizes shrinkage, humidity resistant, great for blow dry and air dry styles. So it, it's to elongate strands for easy air dry and blow dry styles. Formated to temporarily loosen texture to add manageability and save time whether the end look is curly or straight. Okay, so this is definitely not for locks. It's, that's, it's a curl stretcher. So, that, so basically it's to help reduce shrinkage for um, your wash and goes or for if you're going to be blow drying your hair. Okay, so now we have Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Anti-Breakage Spray with Shea Butter and Peppermint. So it looks and feels really runny, but I don't like how white it is. I, w I don't think I would. Again, as to what I said earlier about using white products that are not gels. Again, the gels tend to, to dry clear, but products like this, creams and lotions that are white, they don't tend to distribute in your hair very well. And, um, yeah, I probably wouldn't even... If I did want to try this, I wouldn't spray it directly into my hair. I would spray it into my hand first. Go like that. And then rake it through. And here is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. So I'm getting a lot of leave-in conditioners and not so many just regular conditioners. And... I guess, you know, a lot of people with loose natural hair really, really like the leave-in conditioners. But that's not really what we want. As with locks, we, we like, um, like sprays, like mists, but not so much leave-in conditioners. So, again, no. It's a no for the leave-in conditioner. It's not nearly as thick as the other leave-in conditioners were that I showed you guys. So that's a bonus, but still. Okay, so this is Camille Rose. Buriti Nectar Repair Hair Oil, Exotic Hair and Scalp Blend for Dry, Brittle, and Lifeless Textured Hair. I love oils that come with tops like this. It makes for easy distributing on your scalp. That's why my oil, you guys know my oil, right? The Love Light and Locks Horsetail Leaf Growth Oil, that's why I have this top. It's very intentional. It makes the, the hair doing process so much easier and faster. It seems like a very lightweight oil. Yeah, it's a very lightweight oil. I really like the smell a lot. Yeah, I would absolutely use this on my locks. Even only just for the smell. I like the smell. It smells very familiar. Like pastry. Like a, like a West Indian pastry. Sugar cake. These go together. They're part of the same line. Camille Rose Buriti Nectar Repair Cholesterol Treatment. Okay, so this is like a... A deep conditioner. Apply an ample amount to dry or wet hair. Leave on for for 20 minutes, then cool rinse while detangling with a white comb. Yeah, so this is a deep conditioner, but again, I would still have to dilute it. There's no way I would feel comfortable just applying this directly to my hair. This says dry or wet. There's absolutely no way I would apply this to my dry hair. There's no way. So um, yeah, I would have to dilute this and saturate my hair first with water before even attempting to, you know, treat my hair with it. But again, um, I've gotten all these conditioners. I probably only condition my hair once a month, once every two months. I don't prefer to use conditioner. I prefer to use oils and um, mo use moisturizing shampoos rather than using conditioners. So I will use conditioners, but I'm still going to be very cautious when it comes to how often I use it and the consistency of it. As I am, twist defining cream for shiny smooth twists and twist outs. Again, this is a cream. It's a pomade. I like the smell. Check out the consistency of it. I think I would use this for a retwist, just a little bit. And a lot of people are concerned about holds. Honestly, me, I've never really had an issue when it comes to retwisting my hair and uh, and having like a strong hold. I never had that issue. One, I wash my hair every two weeks, so I don't need my hold to be super strong. And two, even when I don't use any products at all, my retwist lasts as long as I need to. So I'm not one who needs something super strong and a hard hold. So if you do need a hard, strong hold, then you may not want to use pomades. But a couple of these products that I mentioned before are pretty seem like they would do a really good job. 
as a as a pot retwisting pomade like the cream of nature pure honey moisture whip and the as i am twist defining cream so these two seem like they would be really good pomades for twisting your hair so here we have the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Edge Treatment with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. So, oh wow, look at the look at the consistency of it. It's like Jello. So based on reading the title of it, it seems like it's an edge control that's supposed to also help to restore your edges. It definitely feels so. It feels like a lightweight edge control. Like something to style your baby hairs with, but it's not going to leave it feeling crunchy. This precision styling gel effectively blocks humidity while controlling reversion and flyaways formulated to help promote growth by strengthening and conditioning hair. Yeah, so it is supposed to help out your edges, the health of it, as well as help to keep them in place. So this is interesting. I'll keep using this. I'm not really a baby hair stylist. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm just gelling them down a little bit. Okay, so now we have the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. It is the color of Jamaican Black Castor Oil, you know? And are we all familiar with Jamaican Black Castor Oil? I hope so, but it's definitely an oil that's really rich and it's known to help regrow and thicken up hair and really restore moisture. It's, it's a very thick oil, so I don't recommend that you use it too often. Although a lot of us use it all the time. I mean, hey, to each his own again, me personally, the way my natural oils are set up and the way my hair is set up, I, do, I can't use it too often. So um, I have an oily scalp. A lot of us tend to have dry scalps. So I know I'm, I'm more on the rare side of things when it comes to that. So yeah, the lock community loves some Jamaican black castor oil. I'll definitely be using this shampoo for sure, hands down. So that's it. I just went through all the products that I was gifted at Texture on the Runway. I hope that you guys got some insight as to how I choose products and how I recommend products when it comes to locks. Again, I know a lot of us don't like to use products at all. A lot of us are really, really picky. A lot of us only want to use the, the handmade organic products. Those are available for you. If that's what you're into, you can check out my site and check out my organic oils. Some of us do prefer our products to be able to be, you know, the more easily accessible products, the ones you can get at the beauty supply store, at your Walmart, at your Target. Some of us like really rich, creamy, buttery products. Some of us like our oils to be lightweight and runny, milky, watery. To each his own. Everyone's lock journey is their own and I want people to make their own decisions based on learning their hair and learning their own needs and preferences and things of that nature. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.